Hello, my name is Scott Kingsley Clark, and I want to show you how to work with custom fields using dynamic content embeds with WordPress. I've got a number of plugins activated on this test site. I've got locally on my computer. I have Beaver Builder, and I've got the Pro version. I've got Beaver Themer. I've also got Conditional Blocks Pro, Elementor and Elementor Pro, Stackable Gutenberg Blocks, and uh, for the purposes of this demo, I'll be using Pods and the Pods Pro Page Builder Toolkit add-on to show some more extensive options for dealing with dynamic content. So I'm going to start by going through Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is one of my favorite builders for WordPress. It offers a very nice experience when you're dealing with content. Now in this editor, I've already laid out a few demo options here. When you want to embed dynamic content, sometimes you want to embed lists of information. So in this case, I have already created a special, we'll go back here to, I've created a special content post, uh, custom post type called books. And in this books pod that I've created through pods, I've defined a number of fields. And you can see here, I've got publication date, genre, language, country, author, and ISBN. I've also have this pod set up to support featured images. So when I go and look at an individual book, I can edit that book. And this is all inside of the normal WordPress interfaces. So you can see I've got the featured image and then pods adds additional fields here that I can leverage. So back in the Beaver Builder, I want that book to be able to show up here. So in my settings here, I, I'm able to add a new post module if I want. So I can do a post and that's what comes in here. And I've got a few options. I can choose the default layout, which is what this one's using right now. And you can see here, I've got a number of other additional options. I can choose to show or hide the date or comments or things like that. And then if I wanna use a custom layout, I have the option to do that. I can do the same exact kind of layout, but maybe with some custom fields. Like in this case, I want the book author, and this is not the post author. This is the book author. So if I go to edit it, I can see that I can embed just that field. Now, if I want to do this maybe a little bit more dynamically and include other fields, I can go do that here. So when I edit this other demo, you can see here inside of the custom post layout, I've got everything wrapped around a pods short code. And what this will do is because it knows you're in a post module for Beaver Builder, it's smart, it's going to detect that and then it lets you use what we have called magic tags. And these magic tags will automatically get taken and embedded with your custom fields that you want to call off of that individual book. So in this case, I'm showing the Republic book, but if I were showing any other book, it would dynamically include the book author for that book. So it's pretty smart in that way. But still, I find myself limited. I don't really want a list. I kind of want an individual one. And some kind, some, sometimes I just want to show it in a nice kind of an expanded way. Well, you have the ability within Beaver Builder using the Pods Pro Page Builder Toolkit to offer a pod single item view. And you'll find these extra add-on modules here. So you've got pods field value, pods form, pods item list, pod single item. Uh, there's also pod single item list fields, which is really handy just to output like a number of fields automatically. You just tell which fields and then it'll do the display for you. It'll list them out. And then there's also pods views. So in this case, I'm, I've chosen the pod single item module and I can choose a specific pod if I want. I can use the slug or the ID for that item and then I can choose an existing template if I, if I have templates saved. And that's a, that's a different template um, component inside of pods and I'm not gonna use that for now. I'm just gonna keep it simple and show you what it looks like when I just define that same exact template but with magic tags. So instead of the other 
Beaver Builder shortcodes, I'm now using the magic tags available through pods. So I can output the permalink, the title, author, publication date, and post thumbnail. And it just does it for me. And it, in this um, expanded view, now I get what I want. I wanted to just list a single item. This is a single post item, but, but because of the way pods works, it supports many different content types. So this could support uh, user, it could support taxonomy terms, it could support comments, it could support lots of different other content types that you create. So that's a pretty fantastic way to work with Beaver Builder. But what if I want to embed dynamic content? That is where this interface is lacking. So if I wanted to go insert uh, text, let's just do heading. We're going to in insert a heading here. And with this heading, I can choose what I want to embed. So I can actually embed an individual Let's go ahead and choose um, post title. Now, this is the part that is lacking. Because of the way that everything is built with these dynamic content embeds, it is depending on the very current post. So this is the current post is currently this page, the Beaver Builder favorite book of 2020 page. And that's not what I want to output the title for. So what is a cool thing that, that the Beaver Builder team has brought is the ability to have themer layouts. Themer layouts are really cool because you have that ability to create singular views. Now, I, I can actually now have a singular view for my books, and they can now leverage the Beaver Builder experience. So I'll go ahead and go into that. And now here is my expanded singular experience and I've, I've filled this in with a few different things just so you can kind of see some content here but you can do things normally with with embedding individual custom fields that's kind of cool and then you can do short codes with pods that's cool too and you can do templates which we kind of a little bit covered a second ago about the em embedding things within the pods sh short code itself but this is a cool part so I can actually go into an individual field and I can choose to use a template or magic tags. And in that, I can specify my template. So this is the similar thing to what we have with the pod single item, but this allows us to do this in a way that will output it based off of the current book that I'm showing, not just whatever the context is of the current page. So this is the current singular view and it's smart and it knows about this because you've chosen that specific option. And I'm going to go back and you'll be able to see this more easily. So if I go to select this, I'm going to go choose template and I'm going to say connect. Now there's a difference between connect and insert. Connect is dynamically replacing everything. Insert inserts this connection within whatever text you might have already had. So I can do my post title and it will then show up as the post title. So that is the post title for this current singular book that we're viewing here. So that is Beaver Builder and Beaver Themer and how you can embed fields. You'll notice that when you're working with a number of these different types of fields, there are um, options to do this right here. You'll see that that little plus. You'll, you're going to see this plus or this kind of this kind of process used across multiple plugins. We're going to show you one more thing here in the heading now that it is based off of the current singular. So you'll see this, you can do this plus there for the heading text, but you can also see in other fields, and this is shown throughout many different Beaver Builder modules, you can make other pieces of, of text dynamic. So you can link this dynamically. And I love that. I love how that works within Beaver Builder. So the next thing in our list, we're gonna go through, and this is gonna go through Elementor. So we're gonna go and edit this in Elementor. Close out my other pages here. All right, so the Elementor experience is different. Of course, it's a different plugin. 
and it has a different way of doing things, but you'll find lots of similarities. So as I'm editing this, again, we have a post element, just like Beaver Builder. It lets you, it lets you list a number of posts in uh, a custom layout if you want, but the limitations are a bit higher. In Beaver Builder, we can customize the layout and draw up some HTML and, and do some different things there. But, but with this, we're literally stuck with this one be, um, Elementor widget. And, and that is a little bit tricky because I want to output more fields. I don't have the ability to output any custom fields, no custom layout with the post element inside of Elementor. So if I switch over here to a pods element, and I can access all my elements by clicking this, this grid up here. And I can go down and I'll see the pod section. So I, I have the same things I just saw in Beaver Builder. This is available inside of Elementor as well. So I can choose uh, the pod single item and that's when I end up here with this content. So I've set it up to have a, a book. Again, this one's the Republic and I can do a template selection. And in this case, I just output my template how I want. So that's really, really handy. But now let's get to the meat of this talk. It is about dynamic content. We want dynamic content. We don't want just, just embedding templates and, and other things. We want to embed them within the, the, the areas we're working with. So this is a really cool feature inside of Elementor. You can leverage it by choosing to use um, Elementor Pro and the Pods Pro Page Builder Toolkit. This is a new option where you can choose to say, I, I'll go ahead and add a new heading here so you can see the this, this screen fresh. So in this, I can see this dynamic tags. It's just like inside of Beaver Builder, there's a plus icon. And in this, it's like a little database kind of icon that you'll see this one, this database icon more often in, in a lot of these kinds of plugins and not just a plus one. And you can see here, I can choose to make it dynamic based off of a bunch of different things. Bunch of, bunch of, bunch of, bunch of. So there's the pods list. Now this one is from Elementor Pro. This is added by Elementor, Elementor Pro and it's a lot less um, comprehensive. So I can choose a field and it is referencing currently based off of the current page. Now that is why it is tricky because it does not support the ability to embed genre from a list of posts or uh, a genre from a specific post. That is where the new dynamic tags from Pods Pro Page Builder Toolkit come in handy. So this is the Pods Field Pro and you click into it and you can choose to say you know what pod you want. Uh, I'm going to choose my field item and then I'm going to say uh, let's just do post title. So the post title is going to be filled in here and I can s add some extra before text like before here and after here. So it automatically adds the text as I want. I can put spaces if I want that make it a little bit nicer. Now the, the handy part about this is because this has support for before and after, I can do th something like this. So dynamic book title. And in my settings here, you can see my, my text before is dynamic book title and my settings are using post title again. So this is very useful um, when you wanna work with dynamic content within Elementor. You'll notice again, when you go into this, you'll see these dynamic tags supported in many different areas inside of Elementor. So this is where you're gonna to want to leverage that feature and be able to use these uh, dynamic information across all of your Elementor um, elements. And that is a, I, I like Elementor a lot myself because I like their APIs to develop with. And I, I don't think it's too bad. I, I think there's a lot of different really awesome page builders out there, but but Beaver Builder and Elementor tend to be the, the two I, I, I work with the most. I've also done work with Divi, but there were some issues with Divi when I was trying to set up this presentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip past that specifically. The next one we're gonna work with, we're gonna work with Stackable Premium. So Stackable Blocks has uh, some, some fantastic options for blocks. If you're working with the block editor, you notice that there's a lot of 
mm, not, not a lot of blocks that, that can do some really interesting things like Stackable does. And there's some great plugins out there in the market like Coblocks and everything else, but what Stackable Premium brings to the market is the dynamic content feature. Now that's what this presentation is all about, so we're gonna go over that. And you can see here my demo for Stackable Premium. I can use Core Blocks, and this is, this is probably one of my most favorite features of this plugin. So the Stackable Blocks offers the ability to embed dynamic text within core blocks like heading and paragraph. So you see that, that database icon, dynamic fields. So I can take any text I want and say, um, this may, might have been some, some placeholder text, but I can specific, specify a source. I can choose current post, other posts, the site settings, or the latest post. And then what pods does, it, it adds the pod specific things. Now it's pretty cool because from the pods perspective, you have more flexibility. So I can then search for an item. And like I said, this is very handy. Uh, you can also use current item, but we're gonna go with the giver. And then you can choose the field. And this experience, like I said, is, is very fantastic because it lets you just, you don't have to type things in, you can, but, but it also lets you just choose. And I like that because I can drill down. I, I drill down from the content type into the item, and then I choose my field. And I can apply this, and it'll automatically Im include the dynamic text. Now, I've got my other text here. So I can say this also is, instead of this is, or take that out. But this is always going to be dynamic. And this is the cool part about this, this plugin. It lets you have embedded dynamic content within your content itself. And that's pretty fantastic. It's, it's, you're not editing code. You're not, you're not doing any magic tags or short codes or anything. You are working within the block editor and it's, and it's fantastic, um, expansive features now that this, this stackable blocks plugin is installed on the site. Uh, I can click into these and I can see what their settings are. This one has the genre showing, um, and it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Now there are a couple of drawbacks. The core image block is not supported for dy dynamic content yet. I, I think they should add that. I hope they will. And then the stackable blocks themselves, there are a few that support dynamic content uh, heading. And this one is the same exact way as, as before. Um, if I want to work within my heading text, I can um, make this dynamic just like the other stuff. And actually, if you choose other posts, you can choose to show values off of, these are posts. So it, it really has to be something that you want to embed. And that, that's kind of why I, I really like the, the way Pods Pro adds those additional options here. So these are based off posts, latest posts, other posts and current posts, and then site lets you choose site settings. And uh, again, this gives you access to things from Stackable. So if there are site settings that you've defined in Stackable, you can actually add custom fields that are defined like almost like a settings page within Stackable. And that's pretty awesome as well. But we'll keep on going. And you can see here inside of the text field for the text block in Stackable. This is a Stackable block. It does offer that same dynamic content feature. This one does, it does offer the ability to um, have post thumbnails inside of the Pods Pro integration here. It's gonna show a placeholder text field because it can't actually output the image. There are a couple of caveats to the API that the Stackable offers. And, and in, this, in this case, I, I'm not able to preview an image itself with HTML, but I am able to um, put a placeholder here. And then when you go act actually to sh look at the, 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 the page itself, you'll see that. And we'll go ahead and go over there to the preview now. So as you see here, the image does expand into the actual image itself. And unfortunately, the stackable image block itself doesn't support dynamic content either. So I hope they add that to stackable images and to the core image blocks. Those would be fantastic to have. And then if I wanna work with query loops, this also is very handy because yes, the dynamic text is, it, it knows which field, uh, which content I'm, I'm, I'm displaying. So, so in this case, I'm doing current post and it, it knows it's working within the current post query loop context. So I can output the field and it'll 
output it right here for me. I can do the same thing here with ISBN and post thumbnail. You should note that it detects a, a couple of custom fields, but this detects all custom fields across your whole site. So it's not very easy to use if you wanna just select things. It's really meant for kind of typing in. Um, I, I would say that's probably the only way to work with that. But if you wanted to, uh, you could choose your dynamic source specifically there. And then you say use current item, and then now it knows the context of everything. So if I wanted to use this within, the, within a query loop, I can because of the flexibility of the stackable plugin with Pods Pro Page Builder Toolkit in this case. And again, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm listing a list of books in this case, so I can output all the content and stuff. So that is stackable blocks, and I, I find it pretty fantastic. Um, I've I, I've looked across a m many different block plugins, and, and Stackable seems to be one of the ones that's kind of leading with the dynamic content there. Next, we have blocks. So we're going to go straight to just core blocks. And if I'm editing this core blocks demo, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about with the other stuff. So is there dynamic content inside of core blocks? No, no, there's not. And that is <laughs> what this, this presentation is all about. And I want to show you other things with the blocks, but I, I can't show you anything else. There are no dynamic fields inside of core blocks besides what you saw here with stackable. Um, this demo is using the query loop. You can list list of posts and you can have post title and, and some other fields, but, but there are no custom fields you don't have that ability to have custom fields within your query loop. And there's no query, uh, a custom field block uh, that ships with pod with, with, uh, with WordPress core. So I'm using the pods block in this case. And pods has a number of blocks available. If you see here at the very bottom, pods has, th there you are, the same six. They're available everywhere. They're in blocks, they're in Elementor, they're in page builder um, toolkits, backing code that, that supplies all of the things for Elementor, Divi, for uh, for Be uh, Beaver Builder, and all the other ones that we support inside that add-on. So so this is another example of, of what you can do within the, the, the block editor itself. I have access to my, my pod. I can choose the ID and slug. I can choose a custom template or I can output it. So there it is. That That's really what the block editor does. It's not very fancy, but it does offer that ability. And next and finally, we're going to talk about all of the Conditional Blocks Pro abilities. So Conditional Blocks Pro offers the ability to have your dynamic content referenced. So you can say show this block or do not show this block depending on the dynamic content. And I set up a demo here with a, a red one and a green one. Red one means the the content in user display name does not, and this is the current user display name, does not contain admin. And then the content only shows if the user dis display name does have admin. You can see I've got my, my color in the background set there. And this is the conditions option available that at, that's added by Conditional Blocks Pro. I can choose to have configurable, configurable conditions here and you can see I can I can have a number of sets of conditions. I can choose some of the general options, whether or not the per current user is logged in or out, a specific user meta field for their current user, lots of different great options. Advanced PHP logic. They even have WooCommerce support if you have WooCommerce installed. But in the case of pods, you can choose the pods field value. And you can choose the, maybe the current pod that you're on a singular view of or, or um, uh, editing um, the current book and you want to output some extra content, you can. And it can be conditional. I can choose to show a specific something if it has a genre, maybe containing science. Maybe I, I don't want to show something if it has science. I have that ability. 
And that's pretty fantastic because you can do some cool stuff. Like in this example here, I'm just referencing the users um, field. So I, I've got a user pod and I'm looking at the current user ID of one, which is usually admin. So I want to just confirm whether or not it has admin or not. And that's dynamic. So this is a field name that's on the WordPress user, but I can reference any custom field I want. And when I go to view this, you can see here that it is containing admin because I'm, I'm logged in as admin. What happens when I log out? All right, so I am logged out. And when I look at this page, you're thinking, okay, you're not logged into the admin. Why is it showing green? But if you remember when I was editing that conditional, I wasn't checking the current user. I'm checking the specific user ID number one. So this will always reference the ID number one. And that's where it kind of gets kind of cool because then you can reference certain settings based off of a user on certain pages and it just gets great. There's so many complex capabilities available with Conditional Blocks Pro. And I think it's fantastic. So I hope that this presentation has helped you and guided you through lots of different options available to embed dynamic content within your WordPress website. I think there's lots of page builders out there and blocks plugins that offer these kinds of features. The one you're going to want to look out for is dynamic content. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching my presentation. See you later.